Good morning guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, we are the family that three years ago went all into Bitcoin. We sold our house, we sold our company, we sold our cars, bikes, everything we owned. And we went all into Bitcoin and started to travel the world as a family now three years later guys we are back in venlo in our hometown we will visit our family and friends for two weeks before we travel to spain and the rest of the world again today coming to you from a place i spent hours and hours with my parents and my family it is the hay it's an amazing place to walk it's an amazing place to do some hikes there is even this how do you call this air fly you, you know, this, we, in Holland, we call it Zweefvliegen, which means you're flying an airplane without propellers. Uh, I don't know how you call it. It's a beautiful spot. I'm going to walk you through this area and at the same time talk to you about the news about blockchain, Bitcoin and life. In today's video, guys, we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price, of course. We are also going to take a look at Ethereum. I'm going to take Lisa's TA from this morning because I already did a YouTube show this morning and she did an amazing TA on a few coins um, and she has of course the trade of the week. Last trade of the week I think made 60% profit so hmm, I would really check out this trade of this week. I'm going to share with you an indicator that is telling us we will see a bull run again yes guys I am bullish because this indicator is telling us that we will go up without going down first to the 7k region and we are going to end the video with PayPal because PayPal just announced that they are going to work together with Paxos this probably means that in the future we can trade cryptocurrencies on PayPal enjoy today's video guys let's talk about bitcoin guys about the bitcoin price i'm going to show you this chart bam that one this chart is a day chart on this day chart you can see that we have a descending channel downwards where we are in with bitcoin in this descending channel guys we can see that the bottom is around 8250 the top is around 9270 and the midline is around 8750 we have been moving in this channel the last couple of weeks if we look at this channel we can see that we need to break the 9270 to become a little bit more bullish again again if we look if we zoom out a little bit we are still in an uptrend because we didn't make a lower low yet if we would fall below 8600 then we would be making a lower low we must not only fall below it be almost close below 8600 to officially say okay we broke the uptrend we have been in since march this year at the moment yeah bitcoin mm, i will leave the rest of the ta over to lisa let's take a look at the ethereum chart Pop. this one this chart of ethereum we can see an ascending channel this means we are going up in ethereum we can see that the top of this channel is around 315 us dollar we can see the support is around 225 us dollar and we can see the midline around 270 us dollar if we take a look at this chart now would be an amazing moment to step into interior because we are at the bottom of this channel from the bottom of the channel we probably will go up to the top of the channel and then you can see that we are around 315 us dollar this is really looking promising to Ethereum and as, as long as these Ethereum projects and the DeFi industry and all these stable currencies are increasing in popularity like we are doing the last couple of weeks, I can see a very bright future for the Ethereum price the next couple of weeks, months. Guys, if we take a look at this chart, bam, this one, you can see the, ref the Fibonacci retracement levels. If we look at the Ethereum Fibonacci retracement levels, we can see we are still acting below the 0.236 level. In Bitcoin, we have already retraced to the 0.382 level. Ethereum at the moment is still acting below the 0.236 level. If we would reach the Fibonacci level in Ethereum of 0.236, we would see an Ethereum price of 400 US dollar. If we would take it up even more, 
and we would reach the Fibonacci retracement level of where Bitcoin is acting for the last couple of weeks, months already, the 0.382 level, Ethereum would be at a price of 600 US dollar. There is a lot of upward movement possibilities for Ethereum at the moment. That's why I am buying some more Ethereum because I think that Ethereum is becoming more and more popular as long this DeFi industry hype is going on. And all these people are so bullish about the DeFi and about the stable coins. As long this is growing and this hype is growing, I think the Ethereum price will be able to retrace back to the 0.236 level and even to the 0.382 level, which would put Ethereum at four or 600 US dollars. I wanna share one more really cool chart with you guys. This one, bam. This one is the GBTC premium over spot trading market, guys. If you take a close look to this chart, you already see what I'm going to tell you. Because you can see the premium every time on this chart. And every time we see a low premium, we see a bull run in Bitcoin. So every time when the premium is going down, and it's going to this new low, we can see Bitcoin is taking off. This is now again happening. If we look back at 2017, we can see this ultimate low of the premium. If we look back to 2019, when we saw the run from 3K to 14K, we also saw this new low in this premium. And now if you look close at the chart, you can see again, we see this very low premium. And every time this premium gets this low, Bitcoin takes off. Like we always say, if you look to the left on the charts, you can see what happened in the history. And if you look what happened in the history, you can kind of predict a little bit what will happen in the future. So this indicator is showing you that every time, if we see this low premium, you can see a run from Bitcoin. We are now in a new all time low in this premium. We are almost down at the bottom. So that is one indicator that is telling me we are going to see a run in Bitcoin. I really believe we are going to see an 11K Bitcoin way before we see a 7K Bitcoin, guys. I want to show you this pattern that was all the way back in May 2019 where B BTC had this like run up to 13, 14,000. And it went from the 6th of June to the 30th of June. And it made a $6,300 rise in that 24 day period. So 7,500 to 13,800. And we have a very similar pattern happening now. So the previous bullish pivot was here and it was touched two times. It didn't come back down to this range. So the bullish pivot here has been touched two times and it has held above this range. And we've held in, uh, we've currently got a channel um, that we're trading at the moment. And yeah, so we're caught underneath this all time high resistance, which we have pierced today. Um, with the, the whales sort of playing as they are at the moment. But like I keep saying, the easiest way to break a resistance is to go sideways. And that's what we've been doing for like nearly three months. So this is a really, really, really exciting pattern. And I keep telling you guys this every week, this is gonna go up. So we have a potential 16,000 dollars here and this last move this last six thousand three hundred dollar move took just 24 days so right now we're here we're at you know sort of you know low nines and the target here with the next resistance is sixteen thousand four hundred and twenty two so we've got about sort of a, a six to seven thousand dollar range that we could do within the next month so yeah, that's exciting times. And I still, still, still believe we've got a massive big candle coming because there's a lot of shorters on the other side of this resistance waiting for it to come up and, you know, to open up their shorts. They've got their orders waiting and it's just going to blow through those and just kill the vault. So yeah, that's my exciting news. There um, you go, <laughs> kids. Bitcoin's not boring. Something will happen <laughs> sometime. Eventually it will happen, Surely. yes. <laughs> oh. you know, the, the exciting thing is, it's, it's holding this pattern. It's, it's holding, you know, 
I, I've put up the full error <coughs> wave pattern that we've been trading and you know it, it's holding all of that all of the time so yeah well I suppose the store of value narrative has uh, been fully in effect for a long time <laughs> it has yeah that's what it's been doing no, no comment at all. I have the same problem. Everybody is like hating me that I'm too bullish. They're always commenting on my videos. You're only bullish or never bearish. I, I, I am telling them the same as Lisa is saying, you know, we have been since March. If you look at the weekly chart, we, we since March, we have been making higher, um, higher lows. We haven't made a, a low, yeah. or low yet. You know, the, the low or low should be around 8,600. We didn't see an 8,600. So why should I be bearish? You know, and I always tell them, you know, if you zoom out, you're already bullish for 11 years, man. It's like, it's, it's <laughs> just how you look at the charts. Yeah? Okay, I'm going to bring you up to my trade of the week. So this dun, dun, one, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. <laughs> so this one's wink. Okay, this one's been rebranded. Um, it was Tronbet. This is a run on the Tron network. It is uh, another working pro project where it has, uh, you can stake your coins and you can use them to bet on their betting platform. Um, yeah, so it, it's got a lot of stuff happening. Um, this next quarter, uh, they've got uh, quite a few games coming out and a, a few um, sort of projects happening with it. So, and it's really consolidated in this region. So. Uh, I think we've got, if you wanted to do a long-term trade here, I think you can make 200% as long as you keep managing your money. Short-term, uh, we're going to do 50 to 100% just with the release of the news. Uh, so, yeah, so this is was previously known as Tronbet, has been rebranded to Wink. The ticker is WIN, so which is appropriate for a betting coin. Um, yeah, and, and this is my trade of the week. So it, it may take probably, you know, eight, eight weeks to 12 weeks to get maybe even a little bit longer to get to our 200% trade, but you know, it could even go up overnight like some of these ones have done. So with the release of some news, I think there's some big news coming for this and it's, it's looking really good. The last news I'm going to share with you guys is about PayPal because PayPal just announced that they are going to work together with Paxos. Paxos created this beautiful software that enables brokerage and crypto trading for other platforms. And PayPal just announced that they are going to work together with Paxos, which could mean that in the future, guys, we will be able to trade cryptocurrencies on the PayPal platform. If this step will be taken, that will be a huge step because I think billions of dollars are huddled in PayPal accounts. And if all these people now using the PayPal account get access to trading cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin in this PayPal platform, that will be a huge step. I am very interested to see where this collaboration between PayPal and Paxos will lead. Why is this so interesting? Because if you look at the total liquidity that is huddled on the PayPal accounts, and they are all giving access now to trade cryptocurrencies on PayPal, then PayPal could be at one step the biggest crypto exchange of the world. I will of course keep you up to date about this. By walking through town yesterday, I could see, feel and understand why so many people lived in fear here in the Netherlands. Because if your government starts to draw lines across the streets and make squares you need to wait on before you enter a store, you really think something is very, very bad is happening in the world. I'm not saying it's not really bad what happened, but I do think that all these things they do, these lines on the street, are making people more afraid than they should be. And in my opinion, the role of government should be to make their people feel safe, not afraid. And by making these lines and all these things everywhere on the streets, every time again you get confronted with this fear of maybe dying of a virus. And I think that is not the way that the government should have handled it. But that's my opinion and that's why I'm not working in the government office and I'm just walking here in this beautiful nature in Venlo called The Hay.
I was really in shock when I saw this and I asked some people but why are these squares on the street and they were like oh did he they need to people needed to wait in these squares before to enter the store and I said how long and one of the women working in the store told me sometimes up to one and a half hour and I'm like people waiting one and a half hour to go into your lingerie store yeah because they need to start in the first square and then to the next square and to the square and then at the end they could enter the store if some people left the store so everybody needed to wait for their turn when this employee told me this story i was like wow how different is the world yes we in Copangan we didn't have any lockdown we didn't have purple colored squares and lines on the streets that is not what i want to talk about the thing i want to talk about is how different can the world be financially? So here in the Netherlands and in Europe, probably all over the place, people were standing in line for one and a half hour to buy new lingerie or to go in the media mart or to go in whatever store to buy some kind of luxury good. Where I was in Copangan, the people were also standing in lines one and a half hour or longer standing in the line in the burning sun to get food to be able to live completely different this struck me yesterday so hard when I was walking through town and I was really like oh my god did I really do good by going back here and show my kids this awful naturalistic world where people now have evolved to people that want to stand one and a half hour in lines to buy new lingerie as if that cannot wait for one or two months. This is one of the reasons why I show my kids a different world. This is the reason why I show my kids that living a minimalistic life without spending too much money on stuff you don't need, you can be happy as well. It's all about accumulating happiness. It's not about accumulating more materialistic stuff in your life. I wanted to share it with you guys because it really struck me when I walked yesterday in this town. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your communities, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video. And if you're up to it, even leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. Thank you for watching and probably see you tomorrow again. Bye.